Hey guys, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Thursday, December 17th. Things are moving very, very quickly now in Congress and we're going to see a deal very soon. This is just a quick update on the qualifications for the second stimulus check, as well as some changes to the unemployment benefits that you should probably know about. Just please hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So what is exactly going on with the second stimulus checks? Well, there are some good news and a little bit of bad news. The good news is it looks like all dependents will qualify this time. So people like college students and adults dependents will qualify for stimulus checks. Another positive point here is that in mixed households where there's one person with a social security number and a spouse with an ITIN number, now the person with a social security number will qualify for the second stimulus check. And the last stimulus checks under the CARES Act, if there was one spouse with an ITIN number in the household, the whole household was disqualified. So that is changing now for the better. And if that couple has children with social security numbers, those children will also qualify for the dependent stimulus checks. This is good, this is good news. The stimulus checks will be unfortunately at $600 only and dependents will also get the same $600. I know it's like a slap in the face to send such a small amount after eight months of waiting. That's like less than $100 a month, but it is what it is right now. And by the way, another thing that's being reported is that there will be no cap on the number of dependents. As far as income qualifications, it's going to be identical like last time. If you're single and make $75,000 or less, you'll get a check. And if you're married filing jointly making $150,000, thousand dollars or less you'll also get a check the phase out is probably going to stay the same as well which is up to ninety nine thousand for single and hundred and ninety eight thousand for married there are also rumors that people with lower income may get a larger check that's why there were reports of either six hundred dollar checks or seven hundred dollar checks but that is still not confirmed Actually, most of this is still not set in stone, but what is being reported by Politico and the Washington Post and the reporters are generally good with getting new information like this. As far as unemployment, the $300 boost per week is obviously still there, but the question now seems to be for how long. It was set at 16 weeks and Republicans were trying to get it down to 10 weeks. Then they're saying it'll be between 12 to 14 weeks. So this is still not clear, but if I had to give you a guess here, there will be no retroactive pay. This will probably start around January 1st and will last for the first quarter of 2021. So to the end of March, however many weeks that is. Obviously, the longer they keep it, the better because things are trending in the wrong direction. The number of people who filed for unemployment last week went up to 885,000, which is up from 862,000 the previous week. And that doesn't include gig workers and the self-employed. So it's well over 1 million people per week. This is not good, especially that the virus numbers are crazy right now. Yesterday, we reported 245,000 cases, which is going to trigger more shutdowns and more layoffs. Here in New York City, indoor dining was shut down again last Monday and given the weather here outdoor dining is not really an option we just got our first snowfall last night so conditions are not helpful there's also talk of a second major shutdown after Christmas here in New York so small businesses will take another hit. The restaurants that somehow survived the first shutdown may not survive again, as well as many other businesses. And there will be more and more layoffs. We need the stimulus as soon as possible, and they need to get it done now. Which as of now looks like the earliest they can vote on this is Saturday. They're also looking to push the government shutdown until Sunday to get everything done together. The good news here though is that it seems like they're past all the major points of contention. They're just at the point where they're ironing out the details with some FEMA money and money for live venues and things like that. But I really think we're getting a deal soon. We're finally getting a deal soon. Fingers crossed here, but things are really moving fast now. There's probably going to be something new by the time I get this video out. Things just keep changing. So I'm keeping you up to date with the major news as they come out. And I just can't wait to finally make the video when they pass it and the checks start going out. Hopefully very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you all. Please hit the like button on the video, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. Also, make sure to check the link in the description for the Yada Savings Account. It's a new savings account that is FDIC insured, but gives you interest with a lottery system. If you use the link below, you'll get 100 tickets when you deposit as little as $25 for a chance to win up to $10 million. Then you'll get a weekly ticket for every $25 that you deposit. I think this is the future 
future of banking as it encourages savings to earn more chances at winning a large prize. Also, don't forget to get your free stocks from Webull, potentially worth up to $1,600 that when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash, you can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.